video tutorial guys we are going to be making this beautiful cute bucket and carrot bag this is so beautiful do not forget to give me a thumbs up and like if you like this particular video tutorial thank you bag. it's time to sew a lining to it guys the measurement is 15 inches by 12 and a half inches this bottle panel measures 5 by 10 inches max out half inch seam allowance I'm going to be sewing on this. I'm going to back stitch first. Bottom panel to it, so, so make sure the same lines here are aligned. You align them, so I'm also going to notch this. I fold this into two. I show that the right side of the bottom is on top of the right side of the main panel for the lining. I will clip them in place like this, ensuring that the notches are on top of each other. And I will clip, clip in place. Some space we are going to be turning the bag inside out. You can leave it about five inches. Let's make sure it's a bit big for you to turn your external bag inside out. Okay, and first of all, back stitch. I'm going to be sewing at half inch seam allowance. I've sewn the bottom to it. You can see I've left some space here, about five inches. You can increase it if you want. So this way we are going to be turning our external inside out. So I'll take it and I'm going to put it inside the bag. And make sure that the right side of the lining is on the right side of the external. Same line of the external should be on the same line of the lining like this. So you start clipping them in place. Fix this so match. Against inch on that half inch, then I'm going to be sewing on. So neat. I'm just going to trim off the excess. I'll check around to ensure that I sewed every part of it. Okay, like this part now, now we're sewn. So I'll check the second part. This part is sewn. So I'm just going to re sew it here. So by the time I turn it out, we wouldn't have any problem. It's sewn now. So I'm just going to turn it inside and out. Remember, we leave some part of it open. Here we are going to be turning it inside and out. I'm going to fold the lining inside. can see the line is not bulking at that much because we took 12 and a half inches instead of 13 I'm going to top stitch on it i'm using a blue thread the foot of the machine is on the edge of this and i'm sewing from the external so i can see the stitches as i sew the part that is going to hold the handle i'm going to fix it on the side so the measurement is one inch by three inches i've talked about this in part one and two of this video so i'm just going to sew everything like a boss stitch on it Two of them done. I'm going to be putting the angle to the bag. The 
like handle holder. I wouldn't put it at the middle here. So you're using four rivets. So this height comes. So you can sew this one with your man chain. Make sure that this part of your line is not sewn yet. I wouldn't want it to be seen on my lining. Place it like this, opening the lining. I'm just going to bend this down. I'm going to fix this handle holder to it. Okay. I'll take this part from the down, the wrong side. I'm going to pass it through. Then this. Okay. I'll take this part, which is the cover, and I'm going to use to cover it up like this. This is what I'm going to use to secure it in place. And I'll put this one, this part of it, order it like this. Use this part to secure it. So I'm just going to eat it down so it will be secured. Second one, I can see it. This is what I want to online that you can screw. That one is more durable, so you can order those ones online. That's it, like this. And I will take this part of it. Okay, I'm going to secure it in, in place just the same way I did this. I'm just going to secure it, then I'll do the other part. Just going to take this. I'll fix the two handles. This. So the next thing is to fix the eyelets. Now I'm going to get the measurements of where these eyelets are going to be positioned. Take the middle, this part of your bag, external bag. You measure three inches. All right. At that three inches mark, the rest of them you're just going to be taking two and a half inches. Take another because we are going to be fixing eight eyelets. So four of the eyelets will be on one side, the other four will be on the other side. So I'm taking two and a half inches. I'll take another two and a half inches. Then at this edge, this last part for it, which is this part, you take three inches, not two and a half. You take three inches, it's around three inches. I'm going to be installing four eyelets, right? One, two, three, four. And you're going to do the same thing here at the back of it. Okay, all together we're going to have eight islands. We're going to need a whole pouch. I'm going to place it about half inch from the top. I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to highball it. You're going to take your eyelet, you pass it like this. Okay, then I'm going to take it to the eyelet machine. I'll place it on the eyelet machine like this. This is the back and this is the front. It's the front part that you placed on the eyelet machine. You press the handle down. To secure it in place this is secured now all right and this is the inside so we are just going to do this for the remaining three on one side of the bag at the middle of that mark place it like this now press it down Then I will take my machine and, so this is it. and this measure that by one inch. We just fold it into half so on it. by two inches so by the time you fold it into two it become one inch so you're just going to put a mark at the middle then i'm going to apply gum because i'm going to be folding these edges towards the middle towards this mark that we've put when you fold the width from here to here is going to become one
okay yeah guys one of my students volunteered to fix the adjustable strap if you want to see how i sew adjustable straps to my bag i'll be leaving a video up here where i made an adjustable strap for a tote bag Place close, and also we are going to sew this place close. If you can also, if I just use your rivet, I'm going to be leaving a link at the top of this video where you can watch how I fit adjustable strap for a tote bag. Okay, if you don't know how to make an adjustable strap, I'm just going to put this into the bag. To sew this part close, this part I will turn the external out. I'm just going to fold it, fold it like this, and you clip. But we are going to be top stitching on it. And this is the inside. All right, you can decide to use this bag as a tote bag if you want. The bag is fine. I love it. And you can use it as a bucket bag. Okay, I use it as a bucket bag. So I'm not sewing the hand clothes. So you can use your rivet or you can use your machine to sew it close. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 